Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take that old crusty wig and turn it into this beautiful, bronzy, ashy blonde highlighted wig. So these are all the products that I used in today's video. And this is the crusty wig. Oh my god, guys. This wig is terrible. So I'm going to just start by combing out this wig because it's been in the back of the closet for a little bit. And a little bit about this wig, this wig was an 18 inch wig made with some bundles I forgot from where and a frontal from Amazon. This is all the old glue that was on the wig so I'm going to take some 90% alcohol and a rag and we're going to scrub that lace. And make sure you scrub hard because this is a tedious process. So make sure you scrub until all that glue is gone. As you can see, majority of the glue is gone. So I'm just getting the rest of the little pieces off. Now I'm just coming out all that old glue and this is all the shedding that I received. Now you just want to take your wig and put it onto your block canvas head, styrofoam head, whatever you, head that you have. I do recommend a block canvas head but um, if you have a styrofoam head that works fine too. So I'm just pinning my wig down with the T-pins while making sure to take out all of the baby hairs and getting caught into those pins because this wig is on a slash stretch so I don't want to lose whatever baby hairs or edges I already do have. And once again, I'm just combing out those knots and tangles and I'm separating the frontal part from the rest of the bundles because I want my frontal dyed and bleached a certain way. Gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now I'm gonna take the back of the wig and I'm gonna part it into big four big sections, and these are gonna be the parts that we're gonna start to highlight first. I stayed apart this wig into four big sections because after we part the wig into these four big sections, we're going to part this wig into smaller subsections so we can jump into the highlights. But I'll explain more once we get there. I'm just coming out that nape of the neck because, baby, it get crazy under there.
So now I'm gonna take my BW2 bleach and my Clario 40 volume developer and we're just gonna mix that up. You want your consistency to be a little bit runny so it covers a lot of hair. Keeping in mind that this is a bob wig so I'm not gonna be using as much product as I would use on a longer wig. And please make sure you have gloves because this is the chemical and it will burn your skin. I'm also putting down some plastic bags because my mom was kind enough to let me do this in her bathroom. I do also have a old blanket on the floor. So I'm just mixing up this bleach and developer combination. I'm just adding until I get the consistency that I want. Okay, so here is where you need to pay attention. So I'm parting those bigger sections into smaller sections. I'm just getting my aluminum foil ready and we're going to take one small section and we're going to start weaving through the hair with the comb. And whatever you pull out, that is going to be the part that you bleach. So I'm applying a generous amount of bleach to each section that I start weaving out and now I'm going to comb it through and then apply more as needed and just wrap it up. I'm using the aluminum foil because I want to achieve the highest lift possible in one bleaching process. my first time ever doing highlights you want to take another section and just drop that down we're not going to weave that part through we're not going to highlight that part and then you're going to take one more section and on this newest section that you just took out you're going to start your process again So now on this newest section that you took out, you're going to skip one and then take out one and start weaving again. I don't know if that's confusing, but you can watch what I'm doing. And at first this was really confusing for me because like I said, this is my first time ever doing highlights. So I was learning as I go too. But once I got to the top, it started to get easier. And like I said, we're using the aluminum foil because we want the highest lift during one bleaching process because the BW2 bleach does dry the hair out and this wig is already on its last leg. Be careful not to rip through your aluminum foil while combing through your hair. Also be careful when wrapping your hair because you don't want dents in it because it will process like that. So once again, I'm skipping a section and then you're gonna see me take a new section and start the process again. It gets pretty repetitive so once you get to the top, it's going to start to get easier.
split this part into two sections just because it was too much hair for my liking and I just felt like I could be able to control the hair better if I split it into two parts. Like I said, once again, skipping a part, taking another part, and starting the process over again. So now I'm gonna leave the back for a little bit later. I just wanna focus on the front two because I want my front two pieces of my front two to be the brightest. So I'm gonna go ahead and let those process before I finish the back of the hair. I'm just parting out those two pieces and I'm parting it separate from the rest of the front two because I don't like the um, straight long streak in the front. I want it to be like um, gradually fading basically like an ombre almost. I just don't like the patchwork that I see other people do, so I wanted to make it my own. So once I get to the top of these two strands, I'm gonna feather it so it creates a nice gradient. So I let this sit in the hair for about 45 minutes and these are my results. The front two bleached brighter than the rest of the hair, and these two parts bleached brighter than everything all together. So I went ahead and I washed out this hair with some ISO Plus shampoo and some Shimmer Light shampoo. And I'm gonna take my Wella T35 toner we're taking one part of the toner and two parts of 20 volume developer. After that, I'm going to wash it out and I'm going to let my hair sit in some silicone mix in some boiling hot water. So please be careful. And I'm going to let that sit for 10 minutes. This water is very hot, so please be careful. After that, I'm just taking this blow dryer and any random brush, and I'm just blow drying this hair out because this process just took too long already, and waiting for it to air dry was just gonna stress me out. You can't let it air dry. I recommend to let it air dry just because the bleach and all of that just made the hair so dry. But I decided to blow dry it. So now you can actually see the color and the highlights in this hair. As you can see, like I said, the front and top of the hair dyed brighter. They bleached brighter, they picked up color more 
which is perfectly fine to me because you really only focus on the front. But overall, this came out so pretty and I was so nervous. So I'm gonna take these clippers and we're gonna make this bob a bob. Like, and this was my first time using clippers too, so this process was kind of hard. I can't really explain exactly what I'm doing, but you just have to find where you're comfortable at and just cut it to the length that you want it to, but don't get clipper happy because then you're gonna end up with a bob to your ears. And this is day two because I was stressing myself out and I was getting tired. So now I'm just checking to make sure the lengths match up. And if they don't, I'm alternating between clippers and hair scissors. And my hair is crazy. As you can see, I'm just getting those extra pieces that don't match up out of the way and when cutting hair especially into a bob you want to make sure you're tilting your head every every which way so that you get those pieces that you won't expect to be there when you tilt your head down And here you're gonna see me alternate between my clippers and my scissors. The bob was shorter than I expected and a little uneven, but it still came out really cute. And like I said, you need to turn your head every which way so that you can get all those hidden pieces. Y'all, I was in the zone. So here is the final look. This hair came out so pretty. If you like this look, please comment down below. Like this video. Definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. And tune into part two. I'm going to be installing this wig in part two. And... Yes, this hair is so pretty, and I think I did a pretty good job my first time. Yes, period, look at that. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and share. And turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time that I post.